So we're converting this lathe to variable speed. Right now it's just belt drive and you can change the belts to change the speeds, but I'd like to be able to have a knob and actually be able to control it. So we have this old motor here. So this is a three quarter horsepower treadmill motor. And this is gonna have a little bit more horsepower than the motor I have on here now. This is a half horsepower. So it'll have a little bit more power, but this is a DC motor. So I'll be able to use variable speed on this and it'll be rather inexpensive compared to the expensive modules to make AC motors variable speed. So I just pulled this off of the motor over there and on this new motor here, we pulled this big, I guess you could call it a pulley off of that motor as well. And they both have 5 8 shafts. So now this fits right on there just perfectly and it uses the same key as well so that fits in there and it's the perfect size as well now if i'm i'm going to reuse this pulley here because first of all it fits but also if even this is even though this is variable speed if i want it to go really fast then i could put it here and then that would be spinning fast and then i could take it full if i wanted it to go really slow then I could put it here and take it down and it would go slower than it is here. So this still gives me a broader range. So I'm still gonna use this pulley. So the pulleys came off easy this time, but I want them to come off easy next time as well. So I'm just gonna put some anti-seize on here just to make sure that these will be easier to get off next time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up this motor here and hopefully the distance between these brackets are the same or at least pretty close. So we just took out all the bolts and now the whole motor is free. So we can lift this out. So these holes here match up perfectly. It's like a standard bracket size and same with the back ones. So that's good that this fits right in. That definitely makes it way easier. But this fan here, I'm not really liking it. It's supposedly probably for cooling the motor but I don't like having the open fan here just spinning waiting for something to get caught in it and it looks pretty simple to take out it looks like all that's holding it in is this little washer here so let's try taking so this with this off. pick here we were able to start to pry this piece off here and get it to start coming off so this doesn't want to come off it doesn't just slide off there may be some way that's locking it in there that's not as easy to get off, but we're just gonna put it back together for now. We might put a shroud over it later, but it's not as easy to take off as now with that. Now with everything roughed in, we can start to control the motor from here. If I take it to this end and then slowly start to bring it up, it'll start spinning. And then, once it starts spinning, from here I can take it down to a really slow speed, like right there. Maybe a little faster. And then I can also take it up faster. So now I have control with the variable speed. sure seems like it's working pretty nice here we turn this up a little bit it has to be at the maxed out position here all the way to one end that acts as a safety so you won't turn it on at full speed so, and there we go you can see we have control we can get it to go very slow like that or we can speed it up Slow it back down. So this definitely can get to some slow speeds. You can see right here, I'm spinning it at a very low speed, and that's nice to be able to have this control. So there was a variable speed system I was looking at online. I would get a, it was a AC converter, so it would be able to variable speed an AC motor it converted single phase into three phase. 
our outlets in the United States put out single phase and then it converts it to three phase and then I would have to get a three phase motor and then I'd be able to control it and that whole set would be about $180. This motor from an old treadmill and believe it or not it was a dollar for the whole treadmill. Just look at yard sales, thrift stores, when people are just throwing them out. These motors are useful for a lot of things. If you wanted to convert other machines in your shop to variable speed, you can use these motors and they work really well. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.